Richard Allen White. <laughs> Hi, yep. I am Richard Allen White, and these are chapters from my novel called Swords, Sorcery, and Psychopathy. Um, <laughs> I sing the song, A World's Gone Wrong, and I sing of death and the maiden. One of those nights, not too long ago and not too long from now, the white rain of the world the flesh and the devil, fell down hard upon one of these worlds. It pooled upon the sidewalks, ran down the gutter like the pus of an infected whore, and got slooshed into the state cesspool for psychopathic healers. Lightning flashed and illuminated the sign above the gates of the place formerly known as the Bologna Asylum for the Lunatic State. It wasn't called that anymore. For this is a word and a song of songs, a world gone, wherein I met with death and the maiden. This, this next chapter is called The Dissembler, one of one. I won the prize for the best person impersonating a person impersonating a non-person. <laughs> In the literature, it is known as dissembly, the antonym of malingering. I have come to put Her Majesty the Doctor on the altar. The hands of the dissembler never falter, never fumble. The black bee that always stings never fumble. I draw the wiggly blade after she tra after and the poem trails off. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I have a sensor on my shoulder. I know it doesn't seem like right. <laughs> this poem uh, chapter properly is called Epithalamium, one of one. The fifty darker shades of allegory. The quiet raging thirst to drink of the black-white water of the sense of the flesh, like a Cistercian black-white Madonna asking for permission. Poor is the man whose pleasures depend on the permission of another. Picture of the bed of Solomon, sixty grim muscled men around it, naked swords, sexy sorcery and mysterious psychopathy submerged them as fire licks the church steeple in wicked splendor. Fifty darker shades of lovers gone to pierce the veil. Epithalamium is an allegory of tension and unknowable release. Townsend, in the prison of his expertise, Calvin with the key. I like the silence better. <laughs> you, you, you have to do a certain level to get a completely silent reaction. It's not an easy thing to do. But let's see if I can do it. <laughs> this is my last chapter called Prayer of a Man in the Land of Disenchantment. May I find myself in the love chains of the girl in love with the brains of the demon-haunted worlds of our father, Satan. Father of all other low-born visions of auto-suggestion and uncouth chicken-fried urban legend, may I remember the technical ecstasy of the gifts of the dream while my dreaming skull forgets the sinister messengers that arrive on the flaming hooves of Zephyrus nightmares. May the topless bars of the prison and the vast bottomless holy mountain be unhallowed and hollowed out by all the goblins of illiterature and let it become the it don't matter horn of this dismal land. Let me wrap it up in a razor ribbon fence 
and let the land of the brave and free and let it begin with me. Oh.